Well, this has been our most recent project. It's an Alice Chalmers 170. Uh, we had taken the carburetor off to clean it. This has sat for about two years. Um, took the carburetor off, cleaned it out, put it back together. Carburetor rebuild kit. We got new plugs. We checked the points and everything. Still sounds like it has a miss. The muffler was. Well, I'll show you the muffler. The muffler was a complete miss. Uh, completely rusted all the way through. Could use a new radiator probably. You can hear it. Struggles a little bit. I think it's the second or it's the third cylinder. Wouldn't hurt to have new wire set as well, but it runs now. Having a little bit of a problem with some gas flow, but it works. It has a new coil too. Wiring needed to be touched up a little bit. New battery. Yep, there we go. And I'm not sure why. So let's try this again. Give it a couple seconds. It gets hot and then it stops. I think it's something in the carburetor again. cut out immediately. It's either wiring or it's gas. So it might be gas. You know, the light here doesn't come on all the time either. So. Put the charger back on. Carburetor's probably not really leaking, but I didn't put a whole lot of gas in this either, so it may just be out of gas too. I'm gonna bet it's out of gas. Let's see if we can have a look. Oh, we're going backwards. Slip into gear. Uh, let's see, we can turn our light on. Have a look down in there. Oh, there's gas in there. Okay, so it's another problem. Turn the light back off. Oh, look, our little light here's back on. What if it starts? Neat. Try to drive this up here, that way we can put the charger on. We can make it. Can we make it? We can make it. We can almost make it. Come on. Ah, oh, we're not gonna make it. This used to be the starter button. All right, we gave it a chance. Yeah, it's, so it's not reaching the carburetor. Not completely. A little bit of a tangle of wires back here. Need to really play with a few, because the light goes on and off. Okay, let's set that there, and let's try this again. A little extra throttle, get to the carburetor. Make it. Let's see if we can make it. There we go. Okay, we're good for now. So that's our little project. My thing thought 
that this oh we're probably gonna take the carburetor off again I think it's freezing up a little bit yeah this is a third gen Camaro exhaust it works pretty good as a replacement for a little while the old one was really rusted our sediment bulbs under here and it looks fairly clean there you can get a better shot there at the sediment bulb Maybe a little bit of water in there, but it looks all right. Uh, it's just not getting enough gas. I don't believe. Get a few more turns. Let's sit for a while, see if we can't just pop her up real quick. Put the battery charger on a little while. Yeah, it still sounds like it's only hitting on three cylinders. Which makes me curious. Maybe it is. I don't want to judge right away. We'll see. It wouldn't hurt to take off the distributor cap again and look underneath. Yeah, the coil's new. Plugs are new. Wires, I mean, they're not bad, but they'll work. Radiator, <laughs> that needs some help. I have no idea. It's warm, but well, it's got some pressure. Not much, but some. I'll have to take a look under there, see if there's any fluid in. And the antifreeze. Let's take it out of gear. Let's try this puppy again. And we're out of gas again. So, we've got a flow problem. Whoever made Alice Chalmers. That's mean to put the sediment bulb under here because it's hard to close. Oh well, okay.